Ever since Germany's highest peak was first conquered, the mountain railways around Zugspitze, Mount Wank, and the Garmisch Classic area have held an enduring fascination. What keeps people hooked is not just the breathtaking views, but the trailblazing feats and world records achieved by the cable car company. Among these remarkable milestones is the construction of the cable car Zugspitze, a crowning achievement that cements Bayerische Zugspitzbahn, Bergbahn, AG's legacy in the rich history of mountain railways. Ever wondered what it takes to build the highest cable car in Germany, providing unparalleled views of the country's highest peak? Join us as we unearth the challenges faced while building the highest cable car in Germany. Setting up a crane at Germany's highest mountain, nearly 3,000 meters high, is a challenging construction project due to strong winds, limited space, and steep terrain. A specialized Swiss company assembles a rotating tower crane transported by a powerful Russian helicopter. The crane components, weighing up to 3.5 tons, are swiftly brought to the peak. The crane, configured for the unique conditions, becomes Germany's highest point at 2,000 975 meters. The construction site faces challenges such as a crowded area, changeable weather, and the need to keep the summit open for visitors. The project involves blasting to clear space for suspension cable towers. A material cableway transporting five tons per trip supports logistics. The crane, operated remotely, handles the construction materials, including glass, steel girders, and concrete. The construction site, short on storage space, aims to replace the aging Ibizi cable car with a mega cableway, setting world records. The new summit station will feature an observation platform and a glass-walled building. The site manager coordinates efforts amidst a tight schedule, multiple working companies, and the influx of tourists. The project is ambitious, requiring over 1,000 tons of steel and 1,500 cubic meters of concrete. The transportation history of Zukespitze spans nearly a century, starting with the opening of the first cogwheel railway in 1929. In 1962, a milestone in technology was reached with the construction of the cable car up the Such Pizza, boasting world record aerial lift pylons. Over its operational years, it served more than 21 million visitors, but couldn't meet the mountain's popularity. The end of this era marked the planned opening of the new cableway, leading to the retirement of the old aerial tramway after 54 years. Its dismantling began, including the removal of pylons required for the construction of the successor. At the summit, the defunct cable car structure made way for the larger summit station, necessitating the removal of old entryways and roof coverings amidst challenging weather conditions. Meanwhile, in the valley, demolition equipment operated to clear space for the new construction. The delivery of special Swiss-made suspension cables marked a milestone, each weighing 153 tons and requiring careful logistics for transportation. These cables, along with the track ropes, are essential components for the new cable car's assembly. Construction activities also included the erection of a new pylon tower, standing at 127 meters, setting a world record as the highest aerial tramway tower of its kind. With over 9,000 screws and 1,100 individual parts, it required meticulous assembly by a team of specialists. Once completed, the cable cars will traverse a 3.2 km distance, passing under the towering pylon at nearly 40 km per hour, showcasing the engineering marvel achieved at Germany's highest peak. The construction of the aerial tramway at Zukespitze involves intricate maneuvers and precise coordination. The 22-ton saddle, crucial for holding the track ropes and haul rope, is hoisted into position using a winch and pulley system due to the limitations of the construction crane. 
This delicate operation requires meticulous attention to ensure the saddle is carefully guided into place, showcasing the crew's strength, skill, and clear-headedness. Next, the installation of guide pulleys at an elevation of over 2,000 meters on the steep snowy cliff face becomes a challenging task. These guide pulleys play a vital role in protecting the new cables from damage as they are pulled up the mountain side. The crew navigates the precarious terrain cautiously, ensuring the guide pulleys successful placement. The process continues with the delivery of the first track rope to the summit, a daunting task requiring the use of the old tramway cable to pull the new cable up the mountainside. The meticulous joining of the cables and the application of the casting compound ensures the cable's resilience against extreme forces. As the linear pulley hauls the track rope up the mountainside, it operates in parallel, continuously pulling the rope to its destination. Despite the challenging conditions and tight quarters, the crew meticulously maneuvers the pulley system, ensuring the safe and steady ascent of the rope. Finally, the heavy track rope reaches the summit station, marking a significant milestone in the construction process. With clear communication and precise coordination, the crew successfully navigates the complexities of the tramway construction, demonstrating their mastery of the craft. After pulling up the track rope, the crew prepares to cut off the bushing used for pulling it up, ensuring proper welding to prevent the smaller cables from shifting. Inside the track rope, a fiber optic cable will transmit computer data in the future. Welding the end of the track rope and attaching an eyelet for winding it up efficiently are essential steps. The track rope is wound onto a spool with 300 meters wound into position and an additional 100 meters reserved for securing it. The crew must keep 200 meters in reserve for future adjustments every 12 years, limiting them to winding only 100 meters per day. As part of the tower retirement process, an 85-meter tower of the old aerial tramway is dismantled using blowtorches and targeted blasts, with precautions taken to ensure its safe removal. Mounting rope supports to the new track, rope is essential to prevent oscillation and ensure smooth operation, requiring the crew to travel to the summit to fasten them at varying intervals along the 4.5-kilometer route. The cable winches in the valley assist in pulling the auxiliary gondola to the summit, with each rope support fastened to the track rope in four places, creating a V-shape with a pulley in the center. Guideways automatically bring the rope back to the center of the pulley to prevent shifting caused by wind. The crew faces time pressure due to impending bad weather but manages to complete the installation of rope supports in a day. The two running gears arrive in the valley, each equipped with 24 wheels to drive on the track ropes. They are carefully mounted to ensure the track rope isn't damaged, overseen by Chief Assembly Technician Harry Reich. Three weeks later, amid pouring rain, the first cabin is ready to mount. The crew positions the cabin beneath the track rope removes the auxiliary gondola and its running gear and maneuvers the new running gear into position using four hydraulic jacks and hand pumps. With precision and concentration, they lift the cabin onto the running gear, ensuring it's perfect down to the last millimeter. This delicate operation requires meticulous attention to detail and teamwork to ensure a safe and secure installation. With the cabin in position, the crew begins mounting the bolts, a process that takes longer than expected due to cleaning, applying grease, and challenging rainy conditions. Removing the attached straps proves difficult due to a stubborn knot. Despite the rain causing delays, the cabin is finally secured and attention shifts back to the station. However, they encounter an issue as the width of the entryway is not set correctly and there isn't enough room for the cabin. The assembly crew is unresponsive and the cabin cannot remain in its current position overnight. 
the Bavarian Zugspitze railway crew remains on site to assist in resolving the problem. Efforts to shift the central platform in the valley station and move the side rails failed initially. With time running out and daylight fading, the crew resorts to using brute force, including hammering, to create enough space for the cabin. Eventually, they successfully maneuver the cabin into the station. The new Tskeshpitsa cable car celebrated its grand opening on December 21, 2017, marking the culmination of the three-year construction project. The modern structure boasting floor-to-ceiling glazing for unobstructed views stands as a masterpiece of engineering and sets three world records at an elevation of nearly 3,000 meters. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please show some love and support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you next time.